Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by uranium developer Toro Energy, ASX code TOE. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Executive Chairman of Toro Energy, Richard Homsony. Hi Richard. Hi Matt. Okay, so Toro Energy holds four uranium deposits near Waluna in WA and the company has just tabled a scoping study into the standalone development of its Lake Maitland deposit that I must say is showing a a lovely set of numbers. With global economies moving at speed towards low-carbon energy solutions, Toro is seeking to get ahead of the curve in Australia and is preparing Lake Maitland to be a significant player in the new energy revolution. Okay, so Richard, I want to get into those scoping study numbers in just a moment. Firstly, what is your resource at the Lake Maitland deposit now and what is the resource for your broader Waluna uranium project that takes in Lake Maitland? Matt, we have 22 million tonnes of ore grading at 545 ppm for a total Lake Maitland resource of 26.4 million pounds U308. For Waluna as a whole, we've got 52 million tonnes of ore grading at 548 ppm and the total resource is 62.7 million pounds U308. Okay, so Lake Maitland is clearly the leader in the pack. How much of the Lake Maitland resource is at the higher confidence indicated category? Pleased to say 100% indicated resource. That's for uranium and vanadium? For uranium, the resource at Lake Maitland for vanadium is is an inferred resource, but we're confident with further drilling we can upgrade that to an indicated status. All right, so let's get into these scoping study numbers with some rapid fire questions. Firstly, what will it cost you to get this thing into production? 270 million Aussie, including contingency and EPCM. And how much product will you produce in total for the life of mine? And what's your predicted mine life based on the current resource? It's a long mine life of 17 and a half years, and we will, over the life of mine, produce 22.8 million pounds of U308 and 11.9 million pounds of V205. What long-term uranium price have you modelled and what will it cost you to produce a pound of uranium on an all-in sustaining basis? It's well recognised by industry participants that an incentive price is $70 US per pound and we've assumed that for our life of mine and our total all-in sustaining cost over the life of mine is an impressive $28 US per pound U308 over the 17 and a half years. Okay, what sort of net present value have you put on this project? in today's dollars? Pre-tax, it's $610 million Australian dollars. And very quickly, what will it make a year? Let's go with EBITDA. It will make an average of $98 million Aussie per annum EBITDA. Richard Homsony from Toro Energy, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB and 3AW websites and click the Public Companies tab.